Hello and welcome to podcast number two of Oh You Thought. Woo! And uh, brought to you by, uh, well, we don't have any sponsors. We just have a bunch of people who keep complaining about our mic quality and our sound. And if you don't like it, well, you could just donate I'm, to our I'm Patreon. Sorry. I think I'm fucking talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> We, hey. we are brought to you by hardworking, hardworking Negroes <laughs> because that's, help a brother out. That's all that's we need. Yeah, you could donate to our Patreon, which hasn't been made yet. Our Patreon is basically my dog, and he has like a little box that says, please donate to the channel, and then you'd put the money there, and and, and we could probably buy a new mic. Uh, but anyway, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and anyway... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, a- anyway, uh, this is yours truly, Mushroom Lord, followed by... Sir Pix. Followed by... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's Koi McGee, basically. Kaline Keezy. You sound like a turtle having sex. <laughs> <laughs> followed by... Otaku <laughs> Chef Mo. Followed by, once again, our very special guest from the Kotaku Otaku Podcast. One in a million. You'll become our, our, our technical... Technical support? No, not really a technical support. He's just going to be a part of the cast. He might be at IT, but like... Yeah, you know, he's a part of the IT crowd. Um, So, yeah, so uh, it's been a week since our last podcast, so this is... Wow. This is exciting. Uh, Looks like we're really dedicated... Yep, and it looks you know, like it. Looks like it. Um, you know, as, 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 as long as we have a good time and no one gets hurt. Of course. I must say, though, it is rough this season that everyone is in this whole U.S. where everyone getting the flu. That stupid, evil disease of sickness. You know what? I don't believe in. I don't believe that the flu is killing people. You don't? Know I believe that stupidity is killing people. Because, <laughs> I mean, I mean, if... Don't go to work sick, okay? I'm, I'm going to be honest. Do not come to work. Do not come to school... If you're sick, okay, that's just stupid. Don't don't be like I'm gonna just tough it out. Well, no, you ain't fucking Rambo. Yeah. Go home, get some fucking Dayquil, watch watch Netflix, and then just just don't go out because like that's just that's eat how people die. Eat some, yeah, eat a whole lemon. A just lemon. take a whole lemon. In fact, you know what? Grow lemons. <clears throat> go in your backyard, grow some lemon. Put weed in the soil, and you're gonna have <laughs> lemons the size of grapefruits. No, it's been proven. Keith Richards proved uh, it. Also, one other piece of advice I'd like to offer for the flu. Um, if you do have the flu, um, definitely go see a doctor, um, because certain sources say that apparently, uh, Jesus Christ will heal you. (laughs) Um, as much as, you know, I definitely like people keeping on to their religion, because, you know, it gives them hope, but the medical community exists for a reason, people, so. Well, what if, well, I mean, God created man, right? And then man, you know, made, you know, made, made medicine. Right. That's technically man. Weird. Man became doctor. So technically, you know, men, uh, the doctors, they are children of God. So I mean, why, why, why? I mean, why is it? Why is it so bad? Right. I mean, they're children of God. We're right? also talking about Trump's faith advisor. Trump so faith advisor. That's, that's well, you know, wow. it's, well, you know, it's funny. That that's the one who said that. Actually, the, she's like, you don't need medicine. You just need Jesus Christ. I'm like. Okay. All right. Well, Wait. Tis and a nice can, bottle of gin. Can I? Can I buy? Can I buy Jesus Christ at Walgreens? This is. Yeah, right. you know it's funny the 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 F, not the FCC was it the who not the Center for Disease Control lady she actually she resigned because they found out that she invested stocks in tobacco stocks in tobacco she invested she, stocks in tobacco and then they got out and she just resigned in the height of the worst flu season we've had allegedly allegedly <laughs> see yeah. no but th- I'll be real honest uh, last week you heard that Bright Windows of course is an atheist. I'm not an atheist. Well, you don't. Well, you just exist. You're, you're, you're I, just I, exist. I'm you just prin- exist. No, on principle, I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm an atheist because I don't like the the, the Judeo Christian Islamic concept True. of God, but that doesn't disqualify me from believing in something uh, much Great. greater than myself. Of course. Um, uh, I, I like the term that Yodorowsky uh, coined, which is atheistic shaman. Okay, that's like great. he like he believes that there's something. He's a spirit. He's a spirit. I'm a spiritual warrior, as he would say. I'm a spiritual warrior. We, we, you know, we, we need more of those. <laughs> right? I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. A I'm a warrior. Well, uh, wait a minute. I'm confused. I thought an agnostic was someone that. No, agnostic. Like, uh, agnostic is someone who doesn't practice. Agnostic religion. is what Brad Pitt doesn't understand. <laughs> Because I remember, Regardless. no, because Brad Pitt was on Charlie Rose, and he and Charlie Rose was like, "So, are, are you an atheist? Are you agnostic? You're an atheist?" He's like, "No, I'm, I'm an atheist because I mean, we we just don't know, right? You know, no, we, we just yeah. don't know, and I can't say. I mean, we well, we'll need evidence." And I'm like, "Little nigga, that's agnosticism." 
Well, okay. Atheist just means that like, you say no. No, atheist just means no. Like, yeah, there's nothing. Mean, like, there's nothing there, no, basically. Yeah, you don't practice a religion because you're not, you're, you, you don't, don't know. Like, yeah. You're, you're well, agnostic sure. is like they, they're open to the possibility. Right. Mm-hmm. But like it's like but like they say they just don't know. I'm saying they don't practice it. They don't practice yeah, it. and on an individual level, I met some agnostic people who are like, Oh no, I believe in ghosts. And some of them right. are like, Nah, I don't believe in ghosts. Well, I mean I believe you go somewhere when you die, but I don't believe in ghosts. Well back to the point though, I must say yeah. this. Well people don't know, last week. This week I would let you guys know that actually I'm a Christian. Really? So, yes, I am. Damn. I, I know, right? Amazing. Yes, I am. No. But you guys are my best friends, of course. My brother's name is like Christian. Like 90%. <laughs> 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 Your brother's name is Christian. Your brother's name is Christian. But yeah, even though I do believe in God and go to church, you guys really need to go get medicine and get well, because that's really stupid. I did not even know this Trump's advisor even said that. I, I, I mean, I'd hate to sound like a, I hate really to, I'd hate to sound like a dick, but you people are being really, really, really stupid. And c- call, say whatever you want. Say, oh, those dang liberals in, in Hollywood. Uh, I'm a regular and, 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 what, and whatever, and whatever. Just, just no. Don't be stupid. Just go to a doctor. Get, get, get some orange slices. Orange. And on a brighter note, how is everyone's health, by the way? Um, I I have not been to the doctor in three years. I recently <laughs> got health care. I'm going during spring break. Um, to to go to doctor. I'm also going to the dermatologist. I'll probably go to the eye doctor on Monday. Uh, but I I I'm in fear for my liver, as you all know. You know, because uh, honestly, I'm, I I I I drink too much. I, I drink too much, and uh, uh, and and yeah, that's 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 how that's uh, that's how as that's, far as I'm willing to go with that subject. That's, that's a subject a, for another time. It's a Hispanic gene, man. I just, <laughs> no, it's it's something else, but, but you know, whatever. That's that's a story <laughs> for another day. Oh well, no, gene. they say yeah. they say usually a lot of Hispanics supposedly should have kidney stones, but none of my family really has kidney okay. stones. Well, that well, that's why I stopped drinking soda. Yeah. yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't drink. drink I don't drink soda at all. So I drink it every now and then. Every now and then, I want Dr. Pepper. Yeah, that's, you know, Dr. Pepper is yeah. nice, but every fucking day is like yeah. that's. I, some people drink soda every day for breakfast. I got family members who like they wake up and I go. I've been over to the house and I'm like, hey, got any juice? Juice? No, we have Coca Cola. Yeah. And, I'm Coca- like, Coca- 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 and I'm like, I'm like, auntie, do you want to die? Yeah, it's like it's like ever since stopping. Well, like you ever notice how like how Coke? like you don't want to like. Touch a soda much like it's like yeah, yeah. it's like you look at people who drink it every day and you're kind of like Ugh. the only like, thing just kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. well it's like yeah it's you, you just feel like you feel like there's just a rant like you know that made up pain that you make yeah, up, like, yeah. a made up pain in your sights because you're like you're yeah. like uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> you're like you can't do it maybe maybe it's called being a little bitch but we never know <laughs> uh, but no the thing with soda is like I after the thing is I think you told me this because we were talking about this one time and I remember nah man I, I ate and like I would eat. And then I would have a soda, I would have a Sprite, but then I just I would just feel like shit afterwards. Like my stomach would just like it feels like the food would just stop, like it wouldn't digest, like it would just stop right there. And I would have this. You'd feel bloated. Yeah, you feel bloated. So yeah. I was like, okay, I gotta like, stop. So I just stuck with acid water. Reflex. Not even juice, just water, straight up water or, or iced tea, because iced tea is basically water. Like that's that's the soft drink that's mostly like water because it's water with like, a side of diabetes. It's water with a side of diabetes. Well, yeah. sweet tea is not that bad. Uh, Lipton has this one fucking tea. I'm fucking mad because my dad, <laughs> my dad gets the big fucking thing, the powdered shit to make the iced tea, and I, I love when he makes it. And then he got this other one that's of course it's supposed to call the Southern Iced Tea. That shit is ratchet as fuck. Like it oh, tastes. Wait, hold up. You're saying you don't like Southern Comfort? Is it not Southern Southern Com- Com- no, I, like- by, by Southern no, Comfort, no. by Southern Comfort, you mean a bunch of? Do you mean big titties in my face? And yes. No, no. no, no. <laughs> but that no, fucking Southern Lipton know, tea is just Southern Comfort. Is a, is a whiskey? It's a whiskey. Oh, well, now you have my attention. Comfort in. Well, now you have my attention. I'm thinking. No, no, it's another. It's another. Um, but is it a drink? It's a uh, golden, golden farm, golden pears. Golden, golden pears. pears. Golden pears. It's like the next big sweet tea. Oh, sweet right. tea one, So you know. for Southern Comfort, I have is an American whiskey-based liquor flavored with fruit and spice. The brand was originally created by bartender Martin Wilkie. Does it's have very, very good. Milky, was in he New black? Orleans. It's very, was very he good. black? In New Orleans. Was he but, black? But, but they were black because if he was black, would makes it would make sense why we've never heard of it. You never heard? Oh, that's you know, you, you have to. Well, well now this one I have to go deeper. We gotta go. Go deeper. You have go to go deeper. to the craving go side. I, I've been having Southern Comfort since I was a since I was a wee lad. My my craving <laughs> side is basically just rice and beans. He's actually an Irish American. He's Irish American. Yeah, fucking Irish. You know it's funny how uh, I don't know if you read Juan. I don't know if you Juan recently got his passport, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's like, it's like we, 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 we clap for him every episode. This is great. You're like the you're like the Carl Pilkington of, of, of our show. Oh shit! <laughs> you know, you're like a Carl Pilkington. You know what I like to call the passport? What do you like to call the passport? The international pimping license. Look all the places I've been. Where you been? Even in the corner store. <laughs> Talk to me when you go to Japan. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Y'all been pimping bitches in Japan since 2004. Damn, yeah. that was before the economic crisis. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you got. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Economic. Mo just. Dro- <laughs> well, Mo, Mo sort of held on to his hat still, so he didn't. He didn't, he didn't drop it down yet, ladies what? and gentlemen. What? What? Wasn't that? Wasn't that economic crisis? I think. I think if I'm not mistaken, that would have been a good time because I think that was the second time that Bush got elected president. Yeah. So we're like, oh fuck, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get out of here. Japanese tips. The, the thing is, looking back on it, things really weren't that bad at that Everybody time was because it was over. mostly just the war, the quote unquote war. war. But <laughs> I mean, th- it was just a crash because I don't know if you guys seen uh, the Big Short. I know, I know you've seen it. Nick. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a movie. It's a it's, guy. It's by, about the economic crisis. Yeah, right? it's, the one that it's went, by yeah. the guy who made Anchorman, no mm-hmm. less. And it's about like four different perspectives. Like you have like this four stories going on like you have christian bale as the guy the crazy kooky economic guy who he was the only one who foresaw that there was going to be a crash and then you have brad pitt and these two younger guys who like they they think it's going to happen so they bet against the market and when yeah. you bet against the market you basically if the market crashes you get a bunch of money yeah and then and then it's and it's ryan gosling and, and some other people steve carell. in steve carell they're like in what? the place they're like yeah. in the place they're like in the building and they're like fuck well no wall i was well, no, it's I mean, yeah the, yeah the, the, wall street yeah the, there you yeah. go thank you what the fuck is this, gordon gecko boy? they're in there and then they're like oh my god no nah, man don't worry about it don't worry about it you know and then there's a fucking crash and then but the movie's really funny and i like how it kind of explains how all that was going mm-hmm. on and then because it was really the housing market. They were giving houses to people who had no business buying houses. Yeah, exactly. Like, there were, there was, I remember, yeah. I think the stripper in a movie or something. Yeah. She was saying she, like, owned, like, four houses or something. It was like, yeah. what? Like, Are you know, what? you knew there was something wrong there. Like, that's yeah, not yeah. how, yeah. Wait, so it, was, it was, it's also depressing, man. Because they actually depressing. gave you, like, you saw a lot of people whose, like, lives were ruined. Yeah, yeah. It was, de- it was There's depressing. There's that one family, say, they yeah. moved in. Yeah. Two scenes later, they're, they're moving out. <laughs> yeah, because that owner, because the owner who, who let him live there, like, yeah. he no longer had that house because yeah. he oh, could cause not. Like, the house just got foreclosed. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, like, like, obviously like everything. Everything. everything, man. So this is a comedy version of Wall Street. No. But it's based, but it's, it's based okay. in fact. Sort of, because yeah. reality is just way too funny. I feel like, for example, like let's look at Wolf of Wall Street, for example. That's basically, complete comedy, I would think. I know it's a real thing, yeah. and that's fact, but was that one's more comedy than this one, I feel. It was basically 2007, the crippling depression, the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah and, then, and then the movie ends with like all these things where everybody's at. Was it 07 or was it 08? 08 is when it crashed. Was when it, crashed. it was around yeah. there. It was when Obama became president and everybody was years. like, and everybody was just blaming him. And I'm like, nigga, he just got here. Yeah, because it was like, really? Years? It's Bush. It's, it's yeah. Bush. Oh. I mean, you know. But the thing with Bush is that, <gasps> and this was really him. It wasn't Cheney anything. Bush, before he left, like he, he did a lot of things. Like he, he put in an act to protect the coral reef. Because Bush just, I don't know, but Bush, Bush, George W. was just weird like that. Well, he and, did. and he saved GM, you know what I mean? Everybody's like, oh, Obama saved GM. I'm like, no, Obama just got here. That was W. Yeah. And then W. retired, and now he's painting. He yeah. likes to paint now. I mean, heck, I know, and I he, understood. He's still friends with Cheney. I, That's the oh, biggest no. concern. I, I don't think, I, I don't yeah. think anybody was really friends with Cheney. To <laughs> Let's just be honest. Yeah, nobody liked good old Dick. Nobody liked good no old Dick. Nobody liked good old Dick. <laughs> but, uh, name, I but, I know, <laughs> but hey, but didn't Bush not really have a big want to actually be president as far as, like, as well, I Well, he, he was mostly like a family thing. Jeb yeah. wasn't really interested at that time. Uh, he was just kind of there. He was just kind of there, and, and then he he was doing shit. Oh, I, you know, I got I got I got my daddy. My daddy couldn't do this, so I, I gotta go do it for my daddy. You know, yeah. the, the good old Texan thing. Yeah. You know, we do you do it for the daddy. I do respect. But I just, I, yeah. I can't really watch W to be honest with you because I feel like Oliver Stone took too many liberties. You know, because Oliver Stone is Oliver Stone, and I feel like yeah. it's not like a, a it's very. Not 100% accurate. It's not a authentic thing. You know, it's mostly him because we all know Oliver Stone hated W. We know he hated like him. Michael Moore. <laughs> yeah, like Michael Moore. So it's like, I don't think that would be a good... Like, you need... Like, that's the you thing with filmmaking. Like, you have to be unbiased about these biopics, you know? You yeah. have to show how fucking sad this shit is. Like, I remember uh, Don Cheadle did a movie where he played Miles Davis. And I was like, man, this this, 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 this is legit. You know, this we're seeing Miles, like, doing heroin. We're seeing him in the trash. 
you know, like like this movie's not afraid of showing Miles Davis as a piece of shit, you know, and 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 but at the same time, there's a love and there's a respect for Miles Davis in that movie, yeah. you know, and I, and that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Well, yeah. back on the topic of uh, yeah. the crash, there was a topic. Oh, it's a minor topic, it's but minor still, topic. Bitcoin crash for a while. A while. Oh, oh that was a, a while. while. A while. A while. A, while. A, while. a very long while. Like it was I a don't good. Know. We had a good two months. Yeah, have this imaginary crash. money. Yeah, because of uh, wasn't it like the stocks? Wasn't it What's because stock? of like like uh, CP, you know, not CP, CPU like, graphic cards and like stuff like that were getting high priced? Pretty much, yeah. And it kind of and it kind of fucked up with the Bitcoin. Yeah, and and some some people say it's an inside job, probably some banks that was actually making them really. really yeah, they're saying that, yeah, they're saying banks were putting money on Bitcoins, and that kind of fucked up. That kind of like made everything like all topsy turvy. Yeah, because it's like it's hey, Bitcoin. Well, because it's because they're afraid. Because they're way afraid. For banks and know like yeah. hey, we need to stop this before it actually outgrows us because. We already know the banks have been corrupt for like the last. Dude, few I really years. believe oh, okay. they've always been Bitcoin's corrupt. Bitcoin's gonna be yeah. the money. Why do you think? I think isn't it Iceland that's well, doing great without their? Well, no, yeah. the thing yeah. is, the thing about Iceland and and I, I funny, I learned this because because uh, recently. No, I learned this because of um uh, I as as some of you. Well, I don't think anyone really knows. Uh, I'm a big fan of ASMR and the ASMR Dude, community me. on YouTube. Ask her. And there's this one ASMR artist. Uh, uh, I think her name is Icelandic Whispers. <laughs> and I remember she was she she was talking she was doing a Q and A and you don't I'm fucking so laugh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. She, that's a, that's a funny but dope name. No, I'm she was hollering. Right. Of course she was fucking whispering. God, <laughs> Jesus! Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, did I, she did she whisper all, her Q and A? No, Juan, she yelled. Okay, first of all, can you please yeah, but explain? Anyway, some people don't even know what ASMR is. ASMR, ASMR is autonomous sensory meridian response. Okay, basically, you know when you're they whispering your ears, kinky shit. <laughs> no, but it's not well, necessarily it kinky. Well, kind of, okay, and they try to calm me down. I'm trying to explain, nigga. <laughs> Damn. I forgot. Yeah, he's. he's okay, so basically, that's like a, a, ASMR, like we've all experienced ASMR. Like maybe we were in kindergarten and we were coloring, and the sound of the crayon on the paper it gave us a weird tingly feeling in in, in, in our back or the back of our neck. That's ASMR. Or Bob now, Ross. Now, ASMR or, or Bob Ross. Bob yeah, Ross Bob Ross is kind of Loki, the Godfather of. <laughs> Of of of, of, a, of ASMR and 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 uh, so ASMR artists they basically you know they they, they they whisper or they do sounds to trigger that response to help you go to sleep or just relax you but anyway so this one uh, Icelandic ASM artist uh, she was talking about how oh no everybody thinks everything is so great since we got rid of the corruption in the banks but the thing is like we 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 we, we don't really have a replacement everything's kind of in chaos right now I mean. We're, you, you know, so it's almost kind of like yay for them, but at the same time, it's like what I tell everybody. It's like, oh, yeah, you have your revolution and blah, blah, but, but what next? It sounds like the UK. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Yeah, like the UK. It's like, well, well sure. what next? Or, or even America. Even America. Like, we got rid of the British, but it was like, well, what next? Well, well it's racism. Because, well, <laughs> you know, it was, a, it was all founded by a system. Once you yeah. get the system, no, that's it's going to be like, yeah. you're not going to get accustomed to it like, yeah, right away. Yeah. yeah. No, no, but the and plus, like, I think, I think, is, I think, they should yeah. have like also come in with a plan because they should have known that that whole thing is gonna like yeah. go weird, you know? Because you're like, okay, what do we do now? Like how he was saying, I'm like, yeah. yeah. But think about it. Think about it. If you're really angry about a really bad Grrr. system, hey, I said if you're angry about a really bad system, hog no like system. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're not gonna think rationally about. Yeah, how yeah exactly, think. exactly. No, but and instead of closing your eyes, see the thing is, alternatives though, man. See, like, no, or, that's the thing. You need you need a conscious person who can be angry and, uh, and able to like actually create an alternative at the same time. Yeah. Unfortunately. That doesn't happen in modern day society. Or because why? You just or get pissed at anything. or why do you have to have an alternative? Just get rid of the people that made it a problem that caused problems yeah, in the first exactly. place, and put people who can do their jobs way better. Yeah. And and who aren't going to get distracted. Well, it's so not that they It's not that they couldn't do their jobs nah, better. Nah, 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 nah. That's, that's a whole other. That's a that's another episode. Remember, see, we're in Florida. That's a whole other episode. See, <laughs> see, it's not that they couldn't do their jobs well. Other, it's I just say. more that they're greedy fucks. Yeah, that's the difference. That's like, the thing. I mean, that's what I. Because that's the thing. They're so intelligent, and again, they're running <laughs> circles around us. They're, so the they're so intelligent. Yeah. That's that's what it is. You know what I mean? Well, like, there's a city Jesus can clear your flu. in India. That's actually what that, I was showing uh, you. That's what I was showing. You. But there's, was it? There's a city in India that actually is kind of like kind of like a utopia. Bang? No, that's not Bangladesh. 
No, um, Ethiopia. It's, yeah, it's basically Bangladesh. Did you really say Bangladesh as a city? Not Bangladesh. Yeah, Everyone, definitely. Bangladesh is not a city oh in God. India. Okay, Mo, we this get it. You and fuck and anime girls books, And know. anime girls aren't real and they'll never suck <laughs> a dick. Dude, I, don't, I, don't, I know that. But the so truth. I'm glad you've accepted we'll it. We'll set you free. taking the first step. You have 11 more to go. Back to my point here. There's a but city. But what's it called? I don't remember the, the, the city, but Djibouti. you can just pretty much put it in there. <laughs> but this city right. is basically yeah. filled with uh, people that are just kind of like, hey, we just want to live here with a, yeah. with a uh, place that doesn't have to rely on like, see, money and stuff. To that? No, I said in <laughs> India. Yeah, ca- careful, careful, careful. China God. made all the shit, all, all the shit we're using. So let's see. You Mumbai, be Bengaluru, be Chennai, Kolkata, Hyperabad. Is it Kolkata? Calcutta. Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad. Oh yeah. Anyways, Jaipur, Kochi, New Delhi, Surat, Chandigarh, Visakha, I need to get to Mumbai. Bulbasaur. Okay, Bhubaneswar. And he looks like you. Bhopal, Coimbatore, Nagpur. Guys, everybody here is just kind of looking around. Listen, man, I'm trying to help you. You couldn't even remember a damn city. Yeah, that's why I said Bhubaneswar. 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 Bhub
Because legitimately, you know, you got kind of bored. I felt like it was one of those kind of things like, you know, let's just really make it modern, man, a fucking video game. I'm like, okay, fine, all right. They made it like a fucking N64. Yeah, but although watching, I was like, it's actually pretty entertaining. Like, it was pretty entertaining. And yeah, I mean, I don't have anything big to say on it because it was just kind of one of those movies that just kind of like... Do you watch like on Redbox or something like that? Oh no, I actually watched it at the theater. I actually watched it at the theater. But it was enjoyable. It seems like a Redbox Or, or... But you could not know. I'd say Redbox though. Seriously, I'd feel like a good choice is Redbox. Or, or... Cody, nigga. Or you could go Cody as well. Okay, These guys know more. I just want to say... I feel like you should get Cody. We don't represent illegal streaming. Uh, but we also want to say that you we ain't even had to say shit. You literally had to just. You could have just kept. We it. probably have listeners in fucking Alaska. They don't know what Cody is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, know what Cody is. the last blockbusters in Canada. They, okay, in Alaska. Alaska. Well, my bad, Alaska. I know. <laughs> well, the last Alaska. blockbusters in Canada. My bad, Alaska. Well, you make a lot of money in Alaska. A lot of people move up there for jobs. There's a lot of Puerto Ricans moving up there. There's but nothing it, there though. But no. No, I mean, but there's really me. there's really good jobs that nobody wants to do that pay really well, and then that's why they go. But Fine. then again, there's Puerto Ricans everywhere. It's like Alberta. You know, you go there to be a truck driver. That's the thing. There's always Spaniards. Like five years and if someone can tell me what's in Alaska, I would Mexicans change my everywhere. criticism. I just everywhere. don't know. Trees. What's it's the like problem with snow, though? Crab cakes. Tangerine Snow's beautiful. Why Nigga, I love crab cakes. You bro, crab I'm from cakes? Maryland. Go to crab cakes. Oh, bro, I would love to go. I would, you know what? Fuck, fuck, let's go Let's go to Maryland and get some crab cakes. We, let's do it. We, yeah, could, yeah. we could probably bump into Stephen King. Let's just go straight to Maine. Be like, Stephen, why are you? We're come not out. going to Maine. We're staying in Maryland. He'll <laughs> come out of the fucking trees like, Hey, kids, how you doing? <laughs> what, what was that, King? Uh, hey, kids, uh, how you doing? I'm, I'm Stephen King. Yeah, yeah. Want to float? <laughs> <laughs> Want to float? Wanna... Yeah, float, too. Want to float. Want to float? Yo, did we tell you guys about when when uh, the three of us, went, oh, Akil, Nick, and I, and, and Eunice, Eunice, we Eunice, went to see yeah. it. I don't know if we told you about when we, bro, that shit was an experience. Am I not real yeah. to you, Bill? <laughs> Bro, was real enough for no, Georgie. Georgie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still like that like mini RKO that he did to like mini Georgie. Yeah. That he was like, "You float too. You float too." There, oh, like, like I'm water. like, "Whoa, bro, it was amazing. Like, that was funny as fuck." I'll be honest with you. Though, I just now recently learned that yeah. the movie is completely different from the book. Well, it's completely In different from the mini. Aspects. Well, the, you're talking about the '91 miniseries. No, yeah. I'm talking about the movie was close too, but there's certain the movie was close, but they didn't have Maturin, and turtle, right? they Giant didn't they, they didn't have the the scene where Beth basically has sex with with, with all the guys. Which that is completely yeah, I, I'm fine so with that. Yeah, I'm I I get the meaning behind it. And I, I mean, f- uh, when did the book come out? In the eighties? Is it eighties? Eighty four, eighty three. I don't think eighty one. All right. I thought it came out in the seventies. Looks like I'll be the one looking it up. Tonight. Yeah, but anyway, uh, but we do. But I think. But the thing is, the funny thing is, the movie kept having little Easter eggs uh, about material. Mm-hmm. I think the Dark Tower. I have not seen the Dark Tower movie because I'm very scared to see it because I really it's like okay. that franchise. Yeah, but that's why I'm mad when it come out. Quick little note: it came out in 1986. The Ed novel. Oh, the Ed novel. Late 80s. Damn. Yep. But anyway, but because I, I love the Dark Tower so much, and I'm scared to watch the movie because it's just okay. I'm very tired of just okay. What movies. the one that Ed just album? Yeah, I'm just. I I'm, wasn't I'm just, too sure. I'm tired I really of wanted just to okay see it. Movie. Yeah. But apparently, in that movie they talked about uh, the shine and they talked about other things. I don't. Did they talk about Chud? The chud? I wasn't paying attention too much, right? Well, there you go. Well, there you fucking go. Well, there you fucking go. The chud. Was was this Logan all over? Not, not, not not one. Not one. Not one. To bring you back into the conversation, in the book, it. The turtle mature, and he's this cosmic entity who's like a giant turtle that flies through the universe, and he has a galaxy and elephants on its back. It's like Discworld. <laughs> yeah, it is fucking dope. Yeah, it's and good. the kids when they go it's into the like sewer that. to fight Pennywise, the, the, the you know the devil, the dancing clown, the turtle <laughs> appears and teaches them the ritual of Chud. Chud. The ritual of Chud is where they put their hands together, they do some fucking Captain Planet shit, and the <laughs> friendship, the energy of their friendship. You know, defeats the clown, and then the clown disappears for another 27 years. Friends. Man. Man. Yeah, and then he's like, I'll be back. And then they come back as adults and say, you're too old to stop me. You know, and then... You know, oh, yeah. uh, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> but, yeah. Gorsh. But, anyway, and then I remember we went to see the movie, and I remember there's a scene where Pennywise takes Beth, and he shows her his deadlights. 
Now, in the new one, I, I tell everybody, like, even if you don't like horror, you gotta see it, because it's a great movie. It, it, it's an Oscar-worthy movie, in my opinion. Basically, he opens his mouth, and, like, he shows her the deadlights, and her eyes roll back, and she starts floating. And I looked at Akio, yo, you're gonna like this. She, so she's floating, her eyes are, like, glowing, and the clown's like, eh. And I'm, like, I looked at Akio, I was like, hey, yo, yo. That's what happens when you listen to Kid Cudi. <laughs> <laughs> By Kid Cudi, you mean the Passion Pain Demon Slayed Out? Yeah, Passion yeah, Pain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, it has to specifically be so that. So now one. every time, every time Akil and me, every time one of us plays Kid Cudi, I'm like, hey, want to float? And then we play <laughs> Kid <laughs> Cudi. And then also mm-hmm. with the, with him saying that, I end up saying, that's when he. That, that's how it feels to chew five. That's how, yeah. <laughs> you literally. Like, that's how it feels to chew five. five <laughs> Did you say that when? Because she was in a trance, and then Mike, yeah. low key, the real hero of the story, he kisses her, and she and she wakes up, and I was like, "Oh, that's some Disney shit." Yeah. <laughs> and then the whole theater <laughs> just started laughing. And was it? It was that when you said, "That's what it feels like to chew five." <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said it a few times. Exactly. Like, a few times. When you, yeah, when yeah. You get, when you get kissed by your crush, yeah, it's yeah. like you're chewing five. Uh, and like, you say it when we went to see Thor Ragnarok. And then they go through the Bifrost, yeah. and he falls off, and he lands. Yeah. And you're like, God, chew five gum. <laughs> Yo, that oh my, <laughs> shit was. So it's funny. the greatest meme that's never been. That made. little rag doll, though, he was like, boom. yeah, oh, that's like I was funny. like, ah, it's a great movie. Now, Still haven't seen it yet. Neil, well, Neil, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, bro, if you're if you're gonna see a Marvel movie, you have to see that one because a you don't have to see the first two. Well, you kind of have to, but you don't really need to see the first two. Thor Ragnarok. But Thor Ragnarok, I saw it again, and then I feel like it's 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 one of the few ones where I could watch over and over again and not get tired of it because there's there's so much in it that is just really cool, and it's it's the first Marvel movie, well Marvel Studios movie. Because there's a difference. First Marvel Studio movie that really like had a, a lot of Jack Kirby in it. Because yeah. Jack Kirby, he drew Thor, and then he came up with a lot of the shit with Thor. And, and I, I, I don't know. I, I just really like it because it's a movie that just doesn't give a fuck. It has a lot yeah. of color. Also, yeah, I like color. It, yeah, felt, yeah. it felt like a synth wave style in some yes. parts, man. That, that's why I was in love. I was and like, whoa. fun fact: the guy who made the score, Mark Mothersbaugh. Yeah, that's his name. Mothersbaugh. Mothersbaugh. He, Mothersbaugh. He, he was a lead. He was the leader of Devo. What? Yeah, and he also made the music for the Cloudy, Cloudy for Chance of Meatballs movie. Oh, really? Yeah, and his main inspiration for Sounds making like the music film. of Thor Ragnarok was the fact that Marvel scores just really aren't that good. They're not. And he even saw a video, a very famous video, about a guy explaining why the Marvel scores aren't memorable. And, and then he used that as an inspiration to make a memorable score. And honestly, I think that one and the Doctor Strange score are, are amazing. Mm-hmm. Because we only remember the Avengers theme because of the because of the Infinity War trailer. It's now cool. everybody fucking remembers it. You know, it's the score. Bwah, 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 bwah. <laughs> That's why we remember it now. Because we waited for that trailer for fucking ever. Yeah. When when Avengers was first coming out, you know the the theme actually started humming. The, Don't say the, the cartoon theme. theme. Oh, the cartoon the theme. theme. Or which one? Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Earth's theme. Mightiest Heroes is so fucking. Amazing. I love Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Thank you for mentioning that. Like every single, like every single one. Like oh, I just see this. T- was it? Was it? Together we are strong. Yeah, together. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love Black Panther's that intro. That's the most corniest. But intro but you no. But you waking though. up on a Sunday morning to watch, watch that, that shit. Yeah, it's boy. really good. Made me feel like a kid again. Like I was watching Fox Kids or something. See, because it was it was so good. Okay, I got. Stop right there for a moment. Is that what you guys saw on Saturday mornings? That one. Fox Kids, and then if something I didn't like, I would go to Kids WB. Because mm-hmm. the Saturday yes. night for Kids WB, a lot of the times they the had Yu Gi Oh! or Dragon Ball. I remember the OG X Men. That was a yes. Yeah, of course. Like, I used to yeah. every oh, fucking. Oh, that was something. For me, I always used to switch. Like, what I used to watch was Toon Disney. Um, you know, because Toon Disney would actually have some Marvel stuff on. Yeah, but I was like later. Like, yeah, 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 but I was Disney like, Disney but actually, Disney actually, it was mainly before. Jetix, though. Yeah, Jetix yeah, yeah. did their little style. Well, you gotta remember, we're, we're a bit older than you, so we so we had like. I, I watched Fox Kids. We had like Fox Kids in the afternoon. Wait, you're 23 now, right? I'm 23 now. I know you're older than me by like two years, I think. Because I'll be 25 and like. Like, oh my gosh, are we 25 yeah, in the next month? In December, yeah. In a month. Yeah. Oh no! I'm old. Well, well, but anyway, but yeah, like, and the show was really good. It got canceled because you know D- Disney bought Marvel, and but we it was on Disney XD, so we thought that that was already part of the deal. But it turns out it wasn't. They wanted to make a new show that was like the movies. 
Was it was this mightiest? Was this yeah, it was yeah. mightiest because I heard no it. Avengers Assembled was Avengers a new Assembled? one and that just got canceled. Wow! It just got canceled along with the Guardians cartoon and Ultimate Spider-Man. Because the Mightiest Heroes one is that the one you guys are talking about? Yeah, I it, seen it. it. So like, I've seen it's on Netflix. Couple of it. I just I haven't really, really seen like the show. Bro, you gotta watch it. You, you bro, you gotta watch it. It's it a nineties really show that's literally in yeah. modern times. Honestly, I think it's, it's their well it's their best animated series since the X Men cartoon. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you. Oh, X Men and Spider Man. Well, well, spectacular Spider Man is is really good. Yes, very underrated, really good. It got canceled again because of the Disney deal. Um, but uh, I mean, Ultimate Spider Man was just so garbage. It's funny, but it's just even garbage. the in, what do you call it, the creators. Of although the, they didn't give a damn. Although I love Drake Bell as Spider Man, I thought Drake Bell was a great choice as Spider Man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But at least they had Wolverine in it, played by Stephen Bloom. You know, so that that was great. Hashtag Stephen Steve Bloom, one of the greatest voice actors yeah. ever. Yeah. Best Wolverine voice actor. Best Wolverine. Oh no, you take best that. Best back. Back. <laughs> you take that. Yo, back. I gotta be honest. The one from the nineties is voice actor. the one from the nineties. Like, best oh look at me, I'm Wolverine. Yeah, that's what he sounded like to me. The thing is, he, eating his fucking me, chicken strips. I grew up with that voice. Yeah, from Marvel. Is that the I'll one you hear in the comics when you? Well, no, yeah, exactly. It's exactly the same one I'm gonna hear in the comics. No, I, I, heard, I, I, I hear Steven I heard Bloom. Three diff- I heard four I hear different Bloom. Wolverines. I heard, Are you talking about X Men Evolution? Wolverine? I heard Australian Wolverine. Australian. I heard. Yeah, there's an Australian. <laughs> oh, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Oh my okay, okay. I'm gonna talk, we're gonna get into the comic book section of this this uh, thing. Oh, hello thing. there, but, Tigger. It's me, Logan. All right, I'm, a, I'm one of the biggest fans of X Men. Very new from earlier. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what first ones? One of the first X Men animations ever were seen was in the one from the eighties. Yo, the eighties pilot. That's actually where the X, you know, the X Men um yeah. arcade cabinet. Most yeah, of the voice actors yeah, with the brown works for that. Yeah. Worked on that thing. Yeah. The only person that wasn't voice, I believe, was just Wolverine. Because Wolverine was an Australian dude. You were like, why is that Wolverine freaking Australian? <laughs> well, he's a Canadian dude. It's like, do, yeah. do we think that Australians, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, Wolverine has an Australian accent and he's from Canada? It doesn't make any sense. But, anyways, that was the first well, accent. Does it? No. No, 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 start. Don't start. <laughs> this is not. Start. Or, yeah. And of course, but, you get it's in funny, a ironically, in how an Australian ended up playing Wolverine and that ended up being, like, I think maybe the most iconic comic book performance. Because there's only been one. Which one? There's Which only ever? been one Wolverine. Hugh Jackman's the only person who's played. He's yeah. played him for 17 years. Which is yeah. amazing. 17 That's... years straight. I mean, there's been f- five Batman? Five yeah, Batman? Five Batman. No, four. No, it's no yeah. Yeah. Since Keaton. Since Keaton. Right, Keaton. Since Keaton. 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 No, we have Kilmer. something before. We have something Keaton. before Keaton. Keaton. Well, we have live action. No, okay, here, okay, let's not include... We can't include Adam West because that was TV. No, let's we not include, include TV. Adam We're not going to include yeah, yeah. TV. Yeah, not yeah. TV's Batman. Adam West. Because we had Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, Clooney, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck. Yeah, five. It was five. Now, the OG ones is Adam West, and there's two others from the it's blood. from the serials yeah. from the 30s and yeah, 40s. 40s. Yeah. But... The George the, Reeve era. George, George yeah, Reeve. Yeah, George Reeve. Yeah. But seriously, though, the main five, though, I must say, out of the main five, I think... Until Christian... Think he, here, okay, here we go. Christian Bale is the good Bruce Wayne. Yeah. But Ben Affleck is the better Batman. There we go. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm like, you better be... Funny, I'm like, you better though, be but, Affleck. But there. the funny yeah. thing is that, like, I, I with Justice League... He his especially because the weird thing about Justice League is that Joss Whedon tried to make him funny, yeah, not the yeah, way he true. should be funny. Yeah. But the thing is, Ben Affleck just loves Batman so much that he kind of just does his own thing with the character. Like I told Juan, he's like, I don't know if I like this Batman because it's like the Frank Miller Batman. I'm like, no, trust me, Ben Affleck knows what he's doing. And I remember we saw it. I was like, bro, what did I tell you? You know, he Yo, he, he he did he did yeah. his thing. But there's moments in. But I feel like Ben Affleck is a great. Bruce Wayne because when he's like billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne you know it's like the classic Bruce Wayne but when he's like normal Bruce Wayne not in a bad suit like he is just sad I don't, you know, like there's, I don't, there's a certain sadness to it that yeah. I really like that I hate yeah. how it wasn't there in Justice yeah. League but he was very relatable in Justice League yeah. in a way that I, you, he, you know I still kind of feel though like I don't know Ben Affleck, like, with the whole Bruce Wayne part, I felt he was a little too... Because I know Bruce Wayne is a little more, I guess, how can you say, like, he's a little more serious, like, a little yeah. more, like, eh. Yeah, he's but a I feel, boy, But too. I feel, yeah, so. exactly. Well, but that's, I, a, but, that's a facade. Yeah, but they didn't... Yeah. The, but what do you call it? I didn't feel like he, like, showed that too much. Like, you know, like that Bruce Wayne persona, yeah, at least. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I was like, we were saying Bale was definitely good. Actually, yeah. I... 
I know it's a little... But I, like, actually, I was telling this to Akil the other day, but, you know, Clooney as a Bruce Wayne actually wasn't bad. Like, as a Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Mm-hmm. That's it. We're not hitting... Like I said, uh, we're not hitting Batman. Because, because he, we're not hitting Batman. He, but, like, Bruce he, he, Wayne does. As a Bruce Wayne, he was... I, I, I found I him perfect. I need my bad credit card, right? Yeah, I, I need mean, my hey, bad no, but credit he, card. He, he, Yo, he, but he, still, here's though... Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. This is what I tell everybody. This is the perfect explanation as to why George Clooney just was not a good Batman. Michael Keaton. Hi, Bruce Wayne. Batman. I'm Batman. Val Kilmer. Hi, I'm Bruce Wayne. I'm Batman. George Clooney. Hi, I'm Bruce Wayne. Hi, I'm Batman. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? What kind of no? And then Christian Bale's like, I'm Bruce Wayne. I own the place. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Swear to me. Dude, I could, I'm sorry. <laughs> Swear to me. Dude, I could not stand that voice. The whole time I watched it, everyone's like, <laughs> You're glorious. Every, You're everyone's garbage. like, The Dark Knight trilogy is so super amazing. So I'm like, Okay, great. But I no, can't it's stand it's that great Batman. Filmmaking. Like, but I can't, it's great filmmaking, but, but it's I just not, can't stand that it's Batman. Not Batman. You know, it's I not can't Batman. Stand. Yeah, yeah, and then and then and then where you, is she? And then you have Ben Affleck where like I was hoping he'd lose his voice during that yeah, whole yeah. trip. And then you have Ben Affleck is like we're criminals, Alfred. We always will be. And then it's Batman, he's like, Tell me, do you bleed? And it's like, Oh Tell shit. Yeah. Yo, Yo, he I'm got he got scared. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, really. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Yo, scared. and especially with that voice modifier, yeah, yeah. yes, like it made yeah. it sound like, like I don't know, for me, it made, it made me feel a little more chill. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I feel yeah. chills. Like, I was yeah. like, whoa. Oh my god, like, there's that scene. Why oh. do you say that name? Why did you say that name? Why did you say that? No, there's that scene in Batman vs. I, I, I don't care what anyone says. I love Batman vs. Superman. I love that scene where he's like, he dra- I, he's dragging Superman. He's like, I bet your parents told you that you're here for a reason, that you mean something. My parents taught me a different lesson dying in the gutter. The world only makes sense if you force it to. And I'm like, yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. Christ. Shit. I'm like, yo, who wrote this? Academy Award winner, Chris Terrio. I'm like, oh, fuck, yo, Terrio. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Terrio. You know what the fuck Star Wars episode nine. Yeah, yeah, he's writing episode nine. That's a, I, I'm not worried. I'm not worried I'm about worried. him. He's Wait, a great screenwriter. But we just worried about JJ. It's not Warner Brothers. No, the thing, no, with, so. the thing with Warner That's Brothers, uh, and I'm glad we got to this well, because, gonna get because fired this, by there's a whole... Fucking conspiracy with Warner Bros. Uh, like, because the, the reason Justice League ended up the. Although, Justice League is just. It ended up being a very kind of simple, hollow, fun, entertaining superhero movie, right? That's just what it is. Just a fun, entertaining movie, which is kind of what the studio always wanted. But Zack Snyder had this more kind of. No, I'm trying to build towards something. I want to make a movie that's meaningful about heroism and whatnot. And you feel that in the movie, but you feel that. There's like 20 minutes that was cut out <laughs> unnecessarily, uh, and we saw all hard. those scenes in the TV spots and the trailers. And you said, really, wait, where's that one scene at? Where, where the fuck? <laughs> Meanwhile, Joss Whedon's is like, hey, 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 Gal Gadot's butt. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't got no ass. Gal Gadot's butt. Yeah, that was. Yeah. He's, going, he's going back to the I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make. There were a lot of butt shots that I would care I'm going to make, I'm, I'm gonna make Batman look stupid. <laughs> no, 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 no. Josh Whedon. There was a. You, there was so a he's going back to the Buffy days. He's going back to the Buffy days. He's going back to the Buffy days. You know who I felt would have done a better job, and I kind of feel I'm kind of mad that Zack Schneider just didn't go with Patty Jenkins. She no. made she made Wonder Woman, and she's a great director. She's still getting used to visual effects. Yeah, because it's not it's not but, Zach is that her first film? film? Is that her first film? Well, well no, it's Joss was Zack's pick. He, apparently, Zack before he left, he was like, "Hey, just just get Joss because Joss is making Batgirl." You're so joking. I think he chose him mostly because what? Bat. No, stop. Can I yeah, stop? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go, go ahead, go vent. You're vent. telling me Josh Weed yeah. is doing Bad Joss. Girl. So <laughs> far, hold on, hold on. so that's, far. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna argue against that. That's a good. That's a good. Decision. I think it is a good decision. You think you're okay. so? I Here's think the reason so. why. Josh yeah. Weed knows not how to rate. Uh, he knows how to rate female teenagers. protagonists that are also teenagers. He knows how to write teenagers, young. yeah. He, he always knows it because it's always, it's always been within his, uh, his yeah. forte. His he, niche. That's his he's niche. He's made every single thing he's touched when it comes to comics or, you know, TV show or sci-fi. Yeah. The female character is always the strongest. Yeah. Buffy. Buffy's better in the, in the show than she was in the movie. You look at Firefly. Yeah. Or, what was it? Uh, River. Was River. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we got River and um, Ryan Buck, Bob Collins is another yeah, yeah. character. They're Elijah really Dusku strong. and Dollhouse. Oh. Yeah, Elijah Dusku and Dollhouse. I forgot. Um, I Black Widow. Black well, Widow well, 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 I like before, Black Widow before, when the Russo's a writer. Okay, so the Russo's are way so better with Black but Widow you than have to, You have to agree. admit it. You have to admit it because you have to watch if you you watch it. Well, he gives her a lot of personality. Before. Black Widow and, and freaking Iron Man 2 was just there for eye candy every two yeah. seconds she was posing. And Rosh was like, 
I want to just make her into the way how she's supposed to be in the comics. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect. So they're going to give her a Russian accent? No, they didn't. You know, I saw his problem. They couldn't give her a Russian accent because who fucked mm-hmm. it up? Uh, John Favreau fucked that up. John Favreau. Okay, so I, but but I honestly, I'd rather, I prefer Favreau <laughs> to Weedon, yeah. to be honest with you. So did I. But you remember Favreau was supposed to he was supposed to direct the uh, Avengers first, and then yeah, he dropped but he, out. no, he dropped out because he, he felt like he, that was too much. Yeah, like he likes more kind. Of, he likes doing more solo stuff. Exactly. So, but, you know, I, mean, I would love really, to see him do a Spider Man movie. I love that so, movie. Sure. Spider Man movie would be good from him. Okay, here's the thing. So I just wanted to point. Out, okay, you're right on one stage. But I'm not point. done. No, but no. But he, <laughs> but he, he, he got double. He didn't break. No, I'm not no, done. No, no, no. Guess a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, no, no. Get that boy some Gatorade. No, no. Continue. I want to keep hearing. Give me a minute. See, when Josh took over, he did the the script for Avengers. He did something with the character Black Widow where she's just not some kind of eye candy. Actually, yeah. as I said, he wrote her kind of in a way like how she yeah. was in the comics, but not completely. Yeah. And I was like, that's a step in the right direction. As long as the next couple writers that take over this yeah. character write her the right way. Yeah. Like Russo's did. And I'm yeah. like, okay, Russo's, you, you gave her quips that she has in the comics. So that's, even, yeah. that's more better in the right way. And then we get to Civil War and we're like, where's your quips? Yeah. And the quips are gone now. Now I'm wondering what's going to happen in, in of Infinity course, War. Uh, Infinity War. Is she going to... Because that was the perfect writing, but it's like, you got that. You had that in, in yeah. uh, Winter Soldier. She had the clips. She's like, yeah. I'll set you up. Yeah. Like, that's, but the thing that's with Civil War is that, you know, they, they had a lot on their plate because they had to introduce Black Panther, they and did. then they had to set up the romance between Wanda and, and it was Vision. Written so well. But it was written well, it was written especially well. the last half hour. I tell everybody, everybody gave Batman vs Superman so much shit for being so dark, but like the last act of Civil Grim War is is really dark. It darker, it's darker, it's honestly. Darker. Yeah, yeah, because you have you have all these things. You have you know Tony's like, oh my god, there's a guy who murdered my parents. He's your best friend right. slash butt buddy. <laughs> That's a story for another day. Um, you know, and it, it's and then it's like Rogers, don't bullshit me. Did you know? He's like, yes. Technically, if you think about it, though, it's good because who tends to see the day in Civil War was fucking Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. Black Panther is a yeah. G. Black Panther came out of nowhere Boy. and he was like, he was like, the living are not done with you yet. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to die. He's like, nah, yeah. nah, nah. That's, nah. You, that's, you, that's, that's what you jail. wanted. You're going to jail. You're going, You're going to, jail. to jail. But my problem with Civil War is how it ends up with like, like they still end up on pretty good terms. It's like, hey, Tony, if you you just call me. And then and now they're saying, oh, no, Infinity War, they're not going to be the best of friends. And I'm just like, just shut up. No, right. I mean, now that fucking ending in Civil War was just, I feel like maybe they shouldn't have done the whole cell phone thing. Yeah, I feel like it should have ended sure. sadder. It should have ended you, sadder. Are you finished with what you're going to say? Yeah, I'm done. All right, okay. Yeah. So just real quick yeah. on my standpoint with this one. Um, anyway, Brock, what do you think? Wow, does, anybody, dude. does anybody have any orange slices? Wow, way to go with douchebag. <laughs> Right. Here he is, the, the biggest, biggest douche, douche in the universe. universe. Right, go, <laughs> biggest douche. Biggest Any- douche. <laughs> <laughs> I see, me gusta. So, no, I just want to say I kind of agree now with the Q, but kinda. I still because the thing here's the thing. Damn, kind of the key because I can Wakanda. imagine because it comes to what kind of what kind of what kind. Did you like Black Panther? What kind of <laughs> what, what, what kind of what? Okay. That's what I gotta say to people in the movies. Yeah. What kind of? Because okay, now, I, now when you talk about super hair like heroines, right? Like yeah. Heroines. I can see that where because of course the movies, for example, like Catwoman, Ugh. Electra, Ugh. and um, there's the third one. I'll even include uh, what was that uh, with the girl samurai in it or like um, what? I'm trying to remember. It's one of the movies. Uh, Bjork did one of the songs for it. Oh, Suicide Squad? Sucker Punch. Oh, Sucker Punch. That's a movie. No, but if you think about it, though. No, but it's not a superhero movie. It's like, remember, it's, it's, more, like, of, it's, like, more, of, it's more of a fantasy than nah, anything. Keep going, keep like, it's like, it's like she, going, she's going, viewing going. this whole entire also, experience. Also directed by Zack Schneider. <laughs> just, take, just take Sucker Punch out of your head for a moment because it's not related to anything comic book related. I it think was a graphic novel, though. Well, the, the major... I still love that No, no, it wasn't. The The major inspiration for it was Meta Oulon, a.k.a. Heavy Metal Magazine because Zach Schneider grew up reading Heavy Metal Magazine, and you can kind of tell there's a lot of that. It is really good. It's a really good. I love oh, the original. Oh, that is so fucking good. That movie's fucking good. <laughs> but the bird thing was really annoying because it, it made was. it. It's not like that. Sh- no, that sounded like fucking Nick Nolte. <laughs> it had this really annoying but sound. Many of them are, but let's say Electra yeah. and Catwoman are not that great. Super but the thing is, movies. you. The thing is, they're not. They're not even superheroes to begin with. They're antiheroes. Well, I mean, well that's true. the thing. Like Wonder Woman is legit the first superheroine movie, and it's really fucking good. You know, 
Even though there's people who debate, like, ah, it's okay. I'm like, no, you don't no, understand. Yeah, no, they're like, it's really hey, good. The dust is settled. We have to just, they're like, we have to just call for what it is. It's a good super movie. It's not it is great. Good. It's not yeah. amazing. I'm like, okay. Because it's not trying to be amazing, but no, it, like, it's low key like, very smart. Yeah. yeah. Especially how it kind of undermines the whole typical romanticism. Yeah. To know? be honest, it felt it felt yeah. fine where yeah. I was at. Like yeah. it wasn't it wasn't so pushed because that's the problem. Yeah. As soon as you start putting a female lead for these yeah. things, automatic romance, and I'm like, yeah. why? And the thing like, is, you know? yeah. And the thing is, the romance was natural and it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like her whole relationship with you, you gotta see it. You gotta see it because you know you, you just have to because it, it, it it's a movie that it, it's a kind of superhero movie that it makes you feel good because like. That's my problem with the Avengers movies, how, like, they've kind of forgotten the point that they're supposed to save people. Because they're always, like, the first one was like, oh, Loki, ah. Eh. And then the second one, oh, Tony made a mess again. We gotta clean it up. Civil War, ah, oh, Tony's sad about the mess he made. <laughs> you know, and now everything's getting all political, and, and, and Cap, Cap made a mess. It's always a mess with Tony. It's yeah, it's always even, a mess. Even Iron Man 2. Yeah, I think, I yeah. Think Tony said he and was the the thing, Senate. Yeah, and the flash. thing. Yeah, Tony, Tony said, I am the Senate. I said, yeah. I promise I won't go. Yo son, el Senato. Uh, but but the thing and the thing about uh, Doctor Strange, Wonder Woman, and I think Thor Ragnarok is that they deal with what heroism actually means. You know what I mean? Because the thing that Thor keeps saying in Thor Ragnarok, which is, well, that's just what heroes do. You know, but the movie in itself is kind of laughing at the fact that, like, well, Thor is not really being heroic here. You know, he's just having, ah, spoiler alert, he's just having problems with his sister, who's being yeah. all greedy. Um, mm-hmm. uh, sorry to spoil that for you. Is, is Hell, that Hell is not Loki's daughter. He's 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 their but sister. But she's supposed to be the daughter. Are you? Serious? They made her a sister, and it makes sense. Oh. And I kind of I kind of like that relationship more. Guys, I'm very confused. Isn't wasn't yeah. Hella originally In Loki's comic, daughter? Yeah, yeah. That that's Loki's that's the because that's what yeah. I knew. That's this that's the thing. Yeah. Exactly. I've read. I've like for example, like I I grew up reading some mythology, not just the Greek stuff. Yeah, I yeah, love the, the Norse Nor- stuff the Norse too. Mythology. And I knew that much. So that's why when I when I heard them, are you like? I, I yeah, saw her, but yeah, I saw her pop up, and I was like, credit, "That's that's the that's the daughter," credit, and then it's like, "No it sister." It works, and it would have been really, really weird if she was Loki's daughter. Like to be honest, because you're going to be starting. No, because the thing is the way they like, what, what the they, hell did Loki have time to fuck a bitch? Is it, I mean, does Loki even want to fuck bitches? Exactly. That's another thing. I mean, they've kind of made well, Loki again, kind of you know, yeah. That, uh, that, that dog. The, yeah, the dog, yeah, Fenrir. The dog is also yeah, the dog like, is supposed to be Loki's firstborn. Yeah. That's another really interesting thing to do. But anyway, but yeah, but and so you have that. You have Thor kind of poking fun at, at heroism, oh. which is interesting. And then Wonder Woman and Doctor Strange are about altruism, because Doctor Strange has that moment where he's like, "I'm a doctor. I'm supposed to save people. I just killed Scott Atkins." <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it's weird. You though, know, and Wonder even... Woman's all like, "Why aren't you helping people? Hey, it's a war." She's like, "No, I'm gonna go help people." And she has that fucking moment where she's like going across no man's land, where he's like, "Diana, that's no man's land. You can't go there." And then she does a fucking hair flip. She's like, "Watch me, bitch." Because <laughs> we all accept me, her bitch. to say, "But I'm not a man." Yeah. And then I'll be like, "You know what?" Yeah. This movie's not taking this crap seriously. I'm yeah. going away. But no, it was perfect. She's like, "Watch me, bitch." And but it's, and then the Wonder Woman thing song plays. Everybody fucking loves it. Have you guys heard? By the way, you, I know you guys are going to the gym. Have you played that at the gym? What you the know, Wonder Woman I theme? To put it on there. I've done it. You know that shit gets you fucking hype, man. I remember the Wonder Woman. The Wonder Woman theme. The new hype song, bro. I remember new hype song. We went to see it in the theater, but I was a few rows above you, and I remember I looked I looked over at you, and I was like. I was funny uh, Batman vs Superman. Yeah, I was like, bro, uh, bro, it's just fucking hype, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just, when I saw the movie, I looked at it like, what's going on here? Because don't get me wrong, yeah. it's not my favorite superhero. Like Batman vs Superman was really end with me, but it was bad. But there's some scenes that, you gotta, you gotta, that yeah. gave me a, a slight little chuckle, and the other scenes are like, okay, that's not bad. Like the whole one room was showing up with Superman and Batman. Oh, that was perfect. Was it Doomsday? Yeah, okay, that's that's actually a pretty good scene. Now the Doomsday got me off because of course yeah. that doesn't look like Doomsday. But, but then again, to its credit, the movie. I, I mean, if you see the extended cut, you kind of get you. I mean, it's it's better because there's some like you see Clark Kent being a reporter. I'd rather that's drink great. Rainey's peach tea. Ah, but bro, I mean, you you gotta see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like I tell everybody you gotta see the director's cut because because it it just makes sense. But to its credit, Batman vs Superman. Like, Zack Snyder had a lot of things in there for the comic book fans and for the people who, like, grew up with the animated shows. You know, especially the whole, like, 
you know, because there's a lot of Batman stuff in there that, like, if you if you know Batman, like, it, it puts a smile on you. Like, Jason Todd's costume. That put a smile on my face. I was like, oh, man, this explains so much. But to its credit, the movie <coughs> gave us the greatest thing, the greatest yeah. superhero theme of all time. Wonder Woman's theme? I mean, how could you not love that right, shit? I mean, seconds. come on. How could you not love it? I mean, it's just great. I mean, the Batman theme in that movie is really abrasive, though. I don't remember. It's like dun 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 dun. See, like you, you know, you hear that, you're like, oh fuck! I'm, I'm get, sorry. I'm getting, I'll I'm take, getting, I'll I'm take getting Justice plugged. League Batman theme any day. That was be- no, that <laughs> that's Batman so eighty nine theme. <laughs> Yo, if I, I, I'm mad at Danny Elfman because his score in the Justice League movie was just not good. But just him putting the Batman theme from and the Superman theme that like, was beautiful. He's like, I I just I just gotta put the head in. I just, <laughs> so let me put, put the, the head. head. Fine, well, okay, but what are you? Hey, like, hey, Danny, what are you gonna do for the Batman? Thing? Oh no, I'm I'm using my theme from '89. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the only Batman it's like, theme. So that's the I only one you should ever <laughs> use. And he's talking about. I mean, Hans did some great, you know. Percussive things, <laughs> per- 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 percussive <laughs> things. <laughs> Even though Junkie XL is the one who did the Batman theme, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people don't know that. And Junkie XL is very underrated. But anyway, and he's like, "No, I'm he using Batman." Great, he did great music for us. Uh, yeah, Deadpool, he no, he did amazing. And Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, Junkie XL is a great, that great also person. Gives you votes. He <laughs> was original. No, the thing is, his score for the Justice League movie exists. <laughs> It does exist. It's out there. But then they removed it because they cut the movie down to like two hours. And they're like, hey, Danny Elfman, you want to do Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm absolutely. 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 Precisely. But the thing is, <laughs> but, but to his credit, to his credit, the scene where you hear like suddenly Gordon turns on the bat signal, you hear, and you see Batman, he's, like, he's on a fucking gargoyle thing, and he's like looking down, and you're like, and I looked at a kill, I was like, I was like, I was like, it's the 89th and he does a superhero landing. He's like, he was like, and I'm like, bro. See, I'm sorry. You see, that's, Justice that's League got perfect. me hyped up because it made, me, yeah. it made me feel like, you know what, screw it. That's all we need for Batman and yeah. Superman. That's that's the only thing we need. We don't need to get we don't need the damn Dark Knight thing, which is always dun 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 or or the other <laughs> Man of Steel team, which is. I'm sorry. It just sounds no, boring. bro. No, I love the Man of it's, Steel theme. It's just I'm sorry. Like I, it sounds like more. I don't right like here, you, buddy. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Game. When it comes to the superhero things made by yeah. Hans Zimmer, I yeah. prefer the uh, Amazing Spider-Man two. That, that's two, that's a great thing. Because like, um, yeah. you, had, you had the bugle horn. Yeah. Ha ha, bugle. The bugle, yeah. And the bugle horn. It fit really well. It was very triumphant. Yeah. It actually, uh, but, but it's but memorable. But, I remember this shit till today, man. But yeah. But Spider-Man theme? No, no, it means Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man two, two theme. I rem- yeah. Because Johnny Marr was on that. Yeah. Johnny Marr was on that. Fucking Johnny Marr. What do you call Pharrell Williams? Pharrell, Johnny, Johnny Marr, the guy from Grizzly Bear, yeah. was on that. Are you serious? Yeah, he yeah. works with Hans Zimmer a lot. And because Alicia Keys. Said he wanted to go all out for because it was wait, the first wait, time scoring wait, for he, Who Spider-Man. from Grizzly Bear did he get? The the main guy. The, 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 yeah. the guitar. Yeah, he the, plays the guitar. Bro, yeah. I'm going to listen to two weeks right now in the car. Yeah. I'm yeah. listening to Grizzly Bear when I get to the Fuck car. Fuck yeah. Wow. I love Grizzly Bear. But anyway. But, Anyways, it's my but the thing, but the Man of Steel, but the Man of Steel theme is just so, I, I, I love it. I don't know. I don't makes, remember anything. It makes me feel. And I love Hans Zimmer, man. I'm sorry. Bro. I really, like, I just said when Hans said that board. Nigga, play that I don't care if we get sued. Play, play that shit. Play more shit. Hey, I don't want, a, I don't want play, our video play, to get sued. Let me get Spotify first. God damn. God damn. I but get yes. it. You're excited. But don't be no, 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 no. I mean, how, 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 how could Only you know? All we seconds. have to say is we don't own that shit. That's all no, we got to say. Hey, we don't, this seconds. is not from us. No, but they, no, no, it doesn't oh, matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter, though. It detects it. I don't think you don't understand. So we have 10 seconds. Say 10 seconds. 10 snickets? That's all we got. 10 snickets? Well, you need more than 10 seconds, though. We, we need more than ten seconds. I'll, 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 I'll zip through it. And I, where's the volume? Right there. Right there. Oh, right there. I'm so no. sorry, guys. Right there. Where we're you so unorganized today. Tell me about it. But is it playing? You know it's okay. Is it playing? Yeah, it's playing. I mean, come on. Okay, let me just go forward. I mean, the melody is, is beautiful. Seeing it in the scene where he flies for the first time. I mean, how could you not love that scene? I mean, it's a great fucking scene. Look at my face. That's 15 seconds. 
And then the pedal steel that guitar coming out of nowhere, like, what? I mean, it's great. Yeah. Like, you so here, uh, How about you ruin your shit? shit? But, but, I mean, but at the end of the day, here's my, here's, you know what my, what I think is the best superhero theme song of all time? Lucky. It's not, it's not, it's not, no, and it's not even Batman 89. Well, hold on, no, I'm, I'm gonna need it back. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, we're, no, gonna, we're gonna take you down, man. So you're gonna say the name. Yeah, you're gonna say the name. You say the name. We're gonna have to redo this crap. <laughs> Oh, I'm, 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 you're gonna recognize it immediately. I'm, I'm sorry. Just say the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh Are you God. serious? It's the theme from The Incredible Hulk, Lonely Man. The Incredible Hulk main theme. Wait, How could you? We're gonna put it? credits at the end of this damn video. All right, take it off. <laughs> yeah, it's like ten seconds. No, but the thing is, and and it wasn't Thor Ragnarok supposedly in the score. I, yes. I, I, I never noticed it though. Like honestly, I was so distracted. I was having too much fun. I do remember the Grandmaster theme. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> it's so, my birthday. Big question. Yeah. Big connect. The answer. What are you wearing to the Black Panther premiere? A dashiki, nigga. I'm wearing a dashiki. We're, I'm, no, I'm well, we're, go, we're going early. I'm we're going close. fucking early. We're wearing, I'm, I'm, I'll see you if I'm my Columbia. Yeah, yeah. My Columbia it's time to look for a clothing. ticket real quick. Dude, yeah. I got oh, no, the sales are out. No, Akil, funny enough, I found a dish. I got nothing like that. That so. I think is perfect are for you. Are you serious? Not even like some Ropa Colombia. Listen, like, man, like, understand cool. something. Nigga, nigga, get, get understand something. We went straight to New York, and from there on, it's just been American. Wait, wear. wait, wear something with like giraffes on it. Bro, like, look bro, like I also have giraffes on it. You can get a dashiki for 12 bucks. Bro, and they're, they're usually one size. I go for the Colombian Caribbean look, bro. That's because that's. Wait, 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 look, look. Are, are, are you gonna wear the necklace that has Africa on? My, if I had a, you could probably do that, bro. If I had a necklace, Where, it'll be either in South America. I'm sorry, but but bro, well, you got you got you got you got to go with Africa. I'll take a nap. I'll take a nap. I'll take a nap. No, because no, because like don't look, get look, me wrong, look, that shit's beautiful. It's only fifteen dollars. Like don't get me wrong, that's my royal jeans, as fuck. My jeans is North African. Don't get me wrong. It's just that. It's just that. Hold on, hold on. I, I can't, I can't. I found a perfect one for you. It even, it even comes with a hood, and it's long too. You, you, you gonna look like, you gonna look like one of the organization thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> like hello, hello. I, 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 I am Kimbe. I'm, 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 I'm the captain. I'm Kimbe, cause I'm, they, are, they have an X in their name. I'm Kimbe. Kimbe. I'm Kimbe. Why does, why does this dude look like his name is Quali? Cause Quali? his name probably is Quali. No, his first name is Talib. His first name's Talib. His last name's Quali. No, his last name's. I spit on you, you first idol. <laughs> My queen. My queen. My queen, first idol. Do you? I love that like synth wave song and that one. Do you know oh, the way? Na na do it. That's great. Oh, one sleeping. Oh, when isn't he fucking sleeping? He's snoring. He's fucking. Snoring. Dang, he's snoring. He found that balance. He found that balance. He's uh. Yep. That's not. That boy can't get no sound. <laughs> I've been yelling that ever since our last podcast. To be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no damn it. Hey. 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 Yeah, but yeah, um, but that I think that's a great superhero theme because it's unexpected. Uh-huh. You know, it's just so sad, but it's it, it, it's about the nature of the Hulk because because the Hulk is kind of cursed to kind of wander the earth forever, unless you know you're reading an Avengers comic because that's always weird how you would read an Avengers comic and they all lived in the same house. Real. And then you would read a Thor comic, and Thor would be Me- like running around. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Hall of Justice. Meanwhile, the Hall of Justice. Wait, <laughs> wait, no. You know what's funny though? My mom was telling me this the other day. She's like, I don't, I don't feel that they should make Justice League movies. I'm like, what do you mean? Because I'm like, everybody's just so fucking powerful on their own. Why do well, they have? Why do they have to get together unless there's like a super powerful threat? Yeah, it's called Dark Side. No, but then I started thinking about typical Justice League villains, and I was like, you know what? That kind of makes sense. Because 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 the real the only really really like powerful villains are like out of the world villains like other yeah. than that you got for example like let's look at Gorilla Grodd uh, Gorilla Gro- let's talk about Gorilla Grodd Gro- 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 listen the yeah. fact that he's very intelligent he can he's, make he's he can make either hell like, he can make some weapons yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like he's like really smart but he's a fucking gorilla like it's like at this at this point who yeah, that's what I'm saying so yeah. out of like. You know, with one of them, he could yeah. still fuck them up if, he, if yeah. they catch him, and that's it done. Like, yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. At this point, it's just a was a super powered version yeah. of hide and seek. 
Mm-hmm. Kind of. That is what I consider it yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, but now again, if we're talking about something like Dark Side, yeah, no, that's no, gonna require sure. quite a. Well, I I kind of agree with you there. The thing is though, certain villains actually act the same, like look the same too. Ever, like don't get me wrong. You have Gorilla Grodd. Then you have the other villain. Misha like, Mala. Misha Mala. Oh, Misha Mala. Yeah. Oh, boom. how about the boomerang, dude? <laughs> you know, there's Captain fucking Boomerang. there's three it, there's three oh, is fucking it Captain Boomerang. The Flash is like yeah. he's a Flash villain. Same with Cap- the, same Captain Boomerang. Why? And he's, there's a third one. This is actually the animated series. Yeah. Um. He was with. He shows up in one of the. Just oh, like, uh, the, the Ultra Humanite. He's a gorilla with a big brain. Tell yeah. me why the Flash's villains are all gorilla based. <laughs> right there. Wait, right wait, there. catch it, catch it. Oh, Aaron. that's that's, that's actually interesting. Something. Why is the all the flashes or were really really fast, really fast, or all the main? Like, so they're either gorillas or other speedsters. Do uh, it's Friday? Like, is there's no, gotta be a reason? Eleven? Yeah. But it's real D three D. Nigga, I don't want no three D. <laughs> Let's keep, let's keep I wouldn't going. mind seeing Angela Bassett in 3D, but I mean she has a supporting role. How about Lupita Nyong'o? You know oh, she's yeah, actually, you know she was actually born in Mexico. Really? A lot of people don't know. That. I found out the other day thanks to Me Too. Oh, Me Too. Me Too. Yeah. With uh, Lupita the, Nyong'o, the, she, she, was, see, she was born in Mexico. See, I don't want, she, that's the why, beautiful Cuban see, Jenny. You know, you know what's funny? I've learned. She left Me Too. I've learned to tolerate Me Too. Just really? tolerate because me the too. thing is, pretty much like the only thing I like about Me Too. Just that it's like it's Latino or his, Hispanic or yeah. Latino. Yeah. But other than that, they're just like a, they're a foreign BuzzFeed. Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, I don't want to say foreign because mostly because mostly and, U.S. Yeah. is like Yo, and, and, a lot of U.S. has a lot of Hispanics Yo, and such. But, and, and can yeah. I be honest? Uh, first thing, uh, let's try to finish this up because it's ten thirty. And, oh wow! Okay. And right. I don't know if you guys are hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I'm actually feeling. I'm, I'm sorry. Remember, I told you I'm gonna feel it now. I'm gonna feel the hunger now. The I'm feeling it now. Uh, I'm feeling it. Now. I feel fun. it coming. Anyway, but anyway, my one thing real quick. Latin X, I fucking hate that fucking word. I hate the word. I hate the mentality. It's just no. Listen, Latin I, X? I get, basically no because I thought that was a superhero. <laughs> 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 now it sounds like a detergent. Latin, Latin X, X para lavar sus platos right, so, y sus culos. You know, you know here's Latin the, X. Busca en público. Here's the here's the thing though. What is that? What is that? Okay, oh, Latin oh, X? Favorite, it's just it's just Latin it's just pretty X much going. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll Google. I'll, 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 I'll read the Google yeah. thing because I'm kind of explaining. Well, like, oh, yeah, the it Google. What is it? Latin version of Malcolm. But no, but all. It, is, it sounds like, like an airline. But just to say quickly, in a quick thing, Latino, Latino, <laughs> it's just they're supposed to be the neutral term. You know how they don't want to say he, she, Gender or something. Gender neutral. Gender neutral. But the thing is, okay, Latinx gender is... Gender neutral. Hold, hold on, hold on. Latinx is a gender neutral term often used in lieu of Latino or Latina, referencing Latin American culture or racial identity. The extra place is the standard O, A, ending in Spanish, and Portuguese forming nouns of the masculine and feminine genders. Respectively, well, respect, well, respectively, I think so it's a transgender a would be an X or a, or a non gender conformist, but, the, th- but the thing is, mm-hmm. the thing is, we're not gonna adopt that, especially the way our parents are. Yeah, nobody's gonna do that, nobody's gonna fucking do that. You know, every time when it comes to like, yeah, the, uh, the topics like this, it's not like that the, we don't mm-hmm. want to include the gender neutral, yeah, or the transgender, but at the same time, the transgender people, you know, they assume that you know, the gender that they feel that. That is inside them. That they feel that they're, you know, yeah. the opposite, right? That's Whatever. Fine. Not That's to offend yeah. anybody, but the thing is, Latinx. I feel it's not. It's just not going to catch on. It's, it's not. not, it's not gonna, and I really hate how hard they're they were trying. At. Yeah. No, they they're still trying. Yeah. And they're still mentioning it. And honestly, I, 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 I hate. You know what? I don't care if I fucking sound like an asshole. This is just me. But in the truth of the matter is, in the grand scheme of things. It's it's it it's stupid. It's an idiotic idea, and we're just not gonna go for it. And honestly, it is kind of an insult to our language because yeah, okay, our language is very masculine and very feminine. That's just the way it is. Deal yeah. with it. Yeah, it's, it's just why, the way the language is made. Just deal, language. just deal with it. I mean, it's it's, it, it's are, hypocritical. Right? It's very hypocritical. It really is. Yeah. It's like you have to explain. It's like we're not saying because we want to put stuff in masculine, stuff in feminine. Yeah. Just, this is what it is. It's built. Talk to the Spaniards. Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, your this, problem. Talk to the Spaniards. And then if they say, like, oh, but it's, we had to change it now. It's the old way. So yeah. like, bro, you can't... When it comes to language, like, you can't really, like, yeah, change yeah. that. Like, yeah. it's not... You, know, you can like, add word. new words. It's not even the words. But you it's can't the really... the structure that they're the, trying to change. You it's can't the grammar. change that structure. It is, I mean, it, it almost feels like an attack on, on, on the grammar. Like, if you want to use, <laughs> use a different language, then yeah. be my guest. Use Esperanto. That's yeah, universal. Yeah. 
Like, Castellano, to, but even in Castellano is even more. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, honestly, if you want to yeah. have another language that's not Spanish, and because you don't want to say certain words, yeah. just do Esperanto. That's yeah, a yeah. universal language. Yeah. Keep Spanish, Spanish. Yeah. Like you can't sw- switch a, like a structured language. If you want to do something different, just don't say it. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I mean, either way, though, when it comes to situations like this, I'd like to refer everyone to the Montague episode of Atlanta. Oh, yeah. I'm I'd a, like, every time I'm I... am a 35 just, a white man. Just when it comes to situations like this, I'd like to refer yeah. them to that specific part, the one that you just yeah, mentioned. Yeah. That specific part. That is yeah. how I feel <laughs> about all oh, that. So, are we going to be Drake O'Malfoy? <laughs> Drake O'Malfoy. Drake O'Malfoy? Yeah. What but, are you, Drake? But it's funny. But it's funny because I remember I was, I was I haven't I haven't told my parents about it. I should ask them. I'll, I'll come back next week tell tell you what they tell you what they think. They'll they'll, they'll probably laugh. Uh, but I feel like if you go to Spain and you say some shit, they'll be like, no jodas, hombre. <laughs> no jodas. Okay, no, hombre. no, it's Latino, Latina is Latinx. It goes like, eh, porque no se va a ir a jodas, yeah. Like you know, just yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 no, 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 that, that's that's a story for another day. No, funny. I'll say it right now. So basically, one time I was at <laughs> one time I was at Mo's place, and, uh, I, and I was just randomly watching porn on my phone. I I, I don't black. know. Black.com. No, 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 no. Do you think that comes out of Black.com? You stupid. <laughs> And it, it was Spaniard porn because Spaniard porn is just funny. Okay, okay. It, it was just funny, and then just one guy, he was, he was fucking his chick, and then the camera guy is just there, and the dude, his hand was in the way of the frame, and he's like, Quita la mano. <laughs> 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 and then and Juan was there too and he was like wait go back go back go back Juan fucking took the phone he's like what did he say go back go back and he fucking he fucking he, he, lost he, it he said it mid-coitus <laughs> he said it mid-coitus <laughs> he said it mid-coitus if you guys don't know what that means it means just move your hand move your hand move, move the, the move hand, hand but they move say the it head. in such a way that you're like yeah. why yeah. What the fuck? I, I I don't know. I I I love Spaniards. They're just so they're so upfront. You know, they're, they're so upfront. Well, that's the thing I like about the Spanish. Language. I would I would like a ham sandwich. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. It's just, but it's just that. Like, even, 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 yeah, one of the things like I mentioned, like you know, even mm-hmm. if you insult in Spanish, yeah. like compared to English, like you could call someone stupid and they'd be like, oh, okay, whatever. But you call someone that's stupid, I feel like there's like an extra. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like it, right it, there, it's, it's, it's just, like, especially depending where you're from. Like for example, like like Puerto Rican, like. Yeah, like, oh, it, yeah. Yeah, there's some people put that emphasis yeah, on it, and you're like, stupid. Oh. It's like, here we go. Wait, John, what? you're stupid. Spanish. Oh, yeah, why is stupid? <laughs> I, 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 love, I, love, I love the Argentinian, though. The Argentinians are there. They're, they're, they're just funny. I remember I was watching this one movie called uh, Relatos Salvajes or Wild Tales. It was not, it was up for the Oscar a while ago. And there's a scene where these two guys, they're like, they have like road rage. They have like mad road rage. And there's a scene where like they're up to, they're, they're like right next, their cars are right next to each other. And the guy rolls, the guy rolls, like the guy rolls down the window and he says one of the most like one of the best insults I ever heard was like, "Usted es un negro resentido," <laughs> <laughs> which basically means you're a you're <laughs> you're a resented negro. <laughs> Which is like what the fuck? Damn. I just like, and then that got me thinking. Man, that's a good ass insult. As a a, a nigga, you a resented nigga. Damn. Oh, and they kill. Speaking of that, I I Black Lightning on the CW. Great fucking show. The main villain is an albino gangster. Oh. Why does it seem like it's black exploitation? Well, it, well, when they get to him, it turns into black exploitation. But the show is really fucking good, he's, and it, and it, look, look, But he's al, he's black. albino. He's al- the thing. There's he, only there's only three care uh, comic book characters that need to be black exploitation. Luke Cage at all times. Man. Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Cyborg. Black Panther. No. <laughs> no, Black Panther. And, Black Panther and is Blade because Blade. 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 because all three of those characters. Were designed and written in black exploitation terms. Yeah. You're gonna get bit. <laughs> you're gonna get bit. <laughs> but, but anyway, but no, you're right. But you remember Blade's original costume? Yeah. <laughs> they could look like a porn star. So. <laughs> I'm gonna put that up on on the podcast. Like it, it's just it's just a funny ass costume. But there's a scene in, in, in Black Lightning where the guy's like, "Damn, boss, you really hate black people." It's like, I don't. He's like, "No, I love black people. I just hate big lip, irresponsible Negroes like you." And he literally chokes the guy and he throws him on the ground. I'm like, "What the fuck?" And there's a scene where like the black people in the town they're marching because they're they they hate this. You know what the gang is called? What? The gang is called the One Hundred. 
Just oh, like the CW show. The the so so I don't movie? know if they're making fun of their own network or not. Like you, just, that's the thing with the show. Like the one hundred, because the show is so different from the other CW superhero shows. 100. Because they're not soapy. They're not all oh, romanticy. Or like oh, I don't know if I want to be the Flash anymore. Or, or like I'm the Arrow, but I'm really trying to be like Batman. But whatever. And so the people they were marching and they were singing amazing grace how sweet the sound whatever and you, hit a, you hit another moving <laughs> on up moving on, on up anyway <laughs> tell me who that ride and John the Rail related <laughs> and uh <laughs> and then and then they're singing Amazing Grace and the guy's in the car right and he pulls up and the car's like he's like man they singing that's why I hate church going Negroes. Oh, they right. always singing, and I'm like, they said Negro. <laughs> By the way, okay, we'll wrap it show, up. Show, show's a good show. In the words of Dave Chappelle, wrap it up. All right, guys. Anyway, so, so, uh, uh, so anyway, thank you once again for the podcast. We hope to have skits for you soon. We're, 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 we're going to go eat. Can, can you play the sound bite, though? That would be hilarious. Oh, uh, we, we, <laughs> we just had it. Yeah. And anyway, we're 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 gonna we're gonna go eat because we're hungry. Oh, I gotta put it away the synthesizers. But anyway, uh, this is Mushroom Lord signing off. Sir picks off. Signing off. Signing off. It's fucked up. <laughs> 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 that was a turtle having sex. Signing off. <laughs> Say like easy. Saying get the fuck out of my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and, and lastly, Otaku Chef Mo here, guys, with, uh, really? Okay, but Otaku Chef Mo and our dear friend... And Wanda lastly, Man, one in a million is sleeping. One in a million is asleep. So yeah. he can't sign off. He just yeah. passed we'll, out. We'll, we'll, we'll sign off for him. <laughs> All right, so... Anyway, get down. Right, anyway uh, as we always say, stay safe and stay woke. Yeah, por eso quita la mano. Pay your taxes.